What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn from where and why rolling resistance comes into action. So without spending much time, let's start. So the first case I am taking here is the tire is stationary. So as you can see that uh, here is the tire. This is the section of the tire and this is the road. Okay, so initially the contact pressure is equals to the inflation pressure. Note that the contact pressure is due to the reaction forces between the ground and tire and the inflation pressure is the pressure by the air inside. Okay. Now this is the contact patch which is the patch made by the tire on the ground. When the tire is stationary that is it is still standing on the ground then the tire is deformed symmetrically from the bottom. Okay. So now if we consider this photo just the section of the tire that is in one dimension then this will be the distribution of the forces by the treads on the contact patch okay so as you can see this is the distribution of the forces it is maximum at the center and minimum at the side now to maintain the equilibrium the equivalent force from the ground is shown which is shown by w okay so when the tire is stationary w is equals to the force applied by the treads on the ground now the next case i am considering that the tire is rotating this is the ground and the tire is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction okay so this was the initial distribution of the forces by the treads and now on rotating the distribution shifts slightly towards the left initially the maximum force line was this and now the maximum force line is towards the left so why this actually happened okay we are going to see this by the stress strain curve of viscoelastic material as tires of the viscoelastic material okay so in this curve you can see that for the particular strain so this line is showing the strain for the particular strain you have two stresses one on the loading and another on the unloading the loading i'm going to show by sigma one and the another stress is on the unloading which is shown by sigma two fine so as you can see in the tire the tire is rotating so on the left side it is loading and the right side is getting unloaded as it rotates okay so the left is sigma 1 and the right is sigma 2 and to balance this a w force is applied from the ground okay to the left side fine so that's why this shifts to the left now i'm going to consider this figure again in this figure you can see that the w is on the left hand side to make it center i'm going to apply the equal and opposite forces at the center so as you can see this red color is the equal and opposite force at the center so the above red force and the lower w forms a couple at the center this is the opposite torque on the tire this will oppose the motion so this is shown by m okay so now you can see the tire is rotating in anti-clockwise direction so it will apply the traction force on the ground so this is the direction of the traction force this green color arrow is showing the direction of the traction force and similarly the opposite torque that is the movement applied by the triators causes the force fr what actually FR is? Now FR is the rolling resistance. Fine. So from here, the compression and expansion of the treads causes the rolling resistance. So FR is equals to FR into W, where small FR is rolling resistance coefficient. This formula is similar to the FR equals to mu into N, just like the friction formula, but it is not friction. This is rolling resistance. Fine. So this is not friction. It comes from the property of elastomer, that is tire or rubber. And the property is viscoelasticity and the rolling resistance fr is equals to small fr multiplied by w so this much for this video if you have any queries hit the comment box if you like the video hit the like button find this video useful do share it with your friends and colleagues let everyone know about rolling resistance and uh, last the important thing don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon to get the latest updates and also, if you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, softwares, automobile, go and check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.